Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We are inside the host of the Yeti family. We are looking for a key to the bedroom, but all we found so far is food. I'm kind of tired of seeing food, so I hope that Yetta has it right this time. Alright, so now we can go down this way. Because we went through the other doors and it didn't really get us anywhere. Oh, I just noticed there's a way to this room from uh, the main room. Uh, I'm just looking at the map now and I noticed that. You know what? I'm going to go back. I want to see what's down there. Hang on. I'm sorry for the detour. I mean, I'm not really in any hurry to get done this place. Like, I really do love this dungeon. The only thing I don't like is that it's the ice dungeon of this game. Whoa! Slippery floors. That's why I hate ice dungeons, by the way. Oh, right. I, I remember this. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do here right now, but I do remember that. Alright, well, we'll keep that room noted. I do know how to get in there. We have to get up above, though. Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. Back to here. Mm, big blocks of ice, but luckily I got a good old ball of chain that can smash it off. Oh, oh, hi. Oh boy. Hey dude. Luckily there's a hole where I can bash in your big stupid frozen head. Ah, there's two of them. Are the Yai family keeping these guys as pets? That's a very questionable choice for a pet, you know? Or maybe they're like a security system. Why is uh, Yetta and Yetto living with uh, monsters? I would love to know. I mean, I know he's a monster, but he seems kind of more like a jolly monster than a big bad monster. My god. I vaguely remember what I had to do with this cannon. I mean, nothing right now, but I vaguely remember this. Oh yeah, this is the room. That chest we saw earlier. We can get it if we smash this uh, cracked floor right here. And then we just uh, drop down. Drop down, Link. I want you to go down, damn it. And this should be... I think it's a piece of heart. Yes, it is. Alright. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, okay. Up there. Let me just get a little bit closer. I was actually worried that it was going to make me like a hook shot across that gap and I would have to go all the way around again. I mean, it's not that far up here, but... Okay, well, I'm not going this way. That door is locked. Alright, I'll try another way. Let's go through here. Oh, hi. Hey, what's up, dude? Take this. <laughs> I can use uh, two bomb arrows to destroy you guys. Oh, I see that. I'll take that. I can use either uh, bomb arrows to destroy those guys. Or, I can take them out with uh, one attack with a ball and chain. Of course, I'll go with the ball and chain because it's less time consuming. What's the room below me? Let me take a look down. Ooh, something's uh, telling me I don't want to go down there. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to fall then. I do want that chest though. I hear I I hear ice keys. And that kinda concerns me. I don't like frozen monsters that can freeze me, you know. Ah, where there's the key I was looking for. Oh hi. I can go back. Oh god, I could jump down there, but why would I want to do that? I can go back the way I came. Or I can just use this. Down below doesn't look like a nice place to be, so I'm trying to avoid going down there. And then we can go through here. And I believe we're on the second floor of the main room. 
yeah, down there is uh where we started. Alright, that frozen guy is gonna be a problem. So I say we go take care of him. Uh I don't think I'll need my quad shot for a bit. Alright, he's gone. And now I can use my good old ball and chain. Oh god, jeez! Link, please! Don't scare me like that, man! There we go. Alright, we just gotta wait for... Wait for it to stop rotating. Or, not rotating, I mean, uh, moving. Why did I say rotating? It's not rotating, it's just rocking back and forth because I hit it with a big giant ball and, ch ball and chain. Alright, it's slowing down. Good enough. God damn it! Oh god! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I was going to go back because I felt like the, I wasted too much time with that bat. Okay, well. I got to go back up. Great. I also love how the dungeon map in this game is actually a very well detailed map. Alright, that those uh, keys might be back. Uh, I hate those monsters so much. I hate really anything that can freeze me because it just it just slows me down. Yes, he's still back. I can see him hanging on the ceiling. How did I not notice that before? I don't know. All right, stop rocking. I'm just gonna put my claw shot back on. Throw. Hit. <laughs> Ah! God damn! I hate that thing so much. All right, I don't think I need this one rotating. Actually, I can hit that, right? Yeah. Okay. And it should rock close enough to me to jump on. Uh, nope. Okay. Ah, this is gonna be tricky. Can I go back up here? Like, do I have to go all the way around? Is there like a target up here? Oh, there is a target. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Stupid jelly monsters. I hate them. Alright, well, at least I don't have to go all the way around like I did. I was just uh, wasting time earlier. I'm kind of surprised I don't have a compass yet. Does the AFM even have a compass for their dungeon? Like for their house, I mean, not dungeon. I mean, it is a dungeon, but to them it's not. To them it's just a home. I, I just love the concept of a, of like a, oh my god. Can I just put it away with pushing A without doing the whole rowing thing? That would be super, you know. Yeah. God! God, I hate this! I don't even know if uh, getting to that chest over there is necessary, but you know what? I'm gonna do it, okay? I've invested too much time into this, but I just can't stop now. Oh, so that thing hanging on the ceiling is not um, an ice piece. What is that then? You know what? I'll hit it once I get across. Made it. Alright, finally. Oh, it is an ice case. It's just that it didn't come down yet because I wasn't close enough. I, I I thought it was an ice case. I thought I saw one of those buggers flying around. It is. Okay. Let's destroy it. How'd I miss? There you go. Take that. A quad shot right in your face. You get what you deserve. Oh! It was worth it! I got another piece of heart! And it was just enough to fill up another heart container. You know, I'm not going back rocking on these things. I, I can easily just go back up this way. Doesn't take much effort to use a quad shot, you know. Ha! 
<laughs> All right, there we go. My God, that took so much time. Oh boy. Hey guys, what's up? Haha, <laughs> come to me and I will destroy you. I will destroy you and your family and everyone you know and love. I just gotta slowly move towards you. Yeah, when you're swinging the ball and chain, by the way, if you hold L, like even if you're target onto something or not, just as long as L is down, you can move while uh, swinging the ball and chain. Oh, hi! There's a ghosty in here. And there's a keys, apparently. It looks like there's multiple keys. I don't care, I just want the soul of the dead. And now I can kill the bats since they're they're kind of here and they kind of made it very clear to me that, you know, they want dead. So I must grant them their wish. I will give them what they want. Which is a, which is a free trip to death. Alright, well, that door down there appears to be locked. So we'll go this way. All right, well, oh, I think I know this room. I think we were in this room before. That door is locked. Yeah, we were here before. Remember the little uh, block puzzle we did earlier? We get to do it again. Well, kind of again. We get to move this. Oh, am I too close? Okay, fine. I'll move back. I'll stay a distance. Alright, so to do this, I'm going to have to move this block out of the way. Which means it is going to lock up a door for me, but I can always uh, slide it back. You know, in case I ever decide to come back to this dungeon, because I, for some reason, I, I don't know, I need to come back. I mean, it's a possibility I'll have to come back. There. Good old sliding block puzzles. I know we don't like them, but this one's not too bad. It's not the worst thing I ever saw. Alright, so push this down. And that will open up the door up above. But I want to close the door uh, down here in case I have to go around again. So I'm going to have to quickly slide uh, that other block back into place. Ah, good old block puzzles. I hated these from back when they were in Pokemon. So now, let's have a little uh, puzzle in a dungeon based off it. I mean, they did this also in uh, the Ice Cavern in Ocarina of Time, and that was... Ooh, that was a thing too. Alright, um, I have to go back up now. I can climb up the block I pushed down. Good thing all these crates are stacked up this way so I can use them to get up. Thank you, Yay family, for being so convenient. Alright, go in here. Oh boy. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> wow, I didn't know I could reach that far. Alright, so... I, I, I do in this room. I know what I have to do with this room. Hey, guys! No! Don't you dare knock me down. That would be mean. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> you got killed by the pullback. Alright. Can I just climb in here? No, but I do see something I can hookshot onto. There we go. Yay! We're over here now. What's over here? Well, there's a door. Is that all that's over here? Probably. It's okay. Let's go. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's for my claw shot. That's the first time I got the X and Y buttons mixed up. 
Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you very much for the 10 rupees, sir. Can I have another? Actually, you know what? I take back what I just said. I just noticed that I have a full wallet. Never mind. Alright, there ain't much I can do with another one. Yeah, I made it. Now I'm just gonna wait for this to slowly slow down on the swinging. I, I admit, Yeto and Yeta, they have a very nice uh, home, don't they? It's just kind of a, a shame that I'm smashing up their property, you know, destroying their barrels, breaking their floors, unlocking all their locked doors. I don't know why they have so many locked doors in this big house, but who am I to judge, right? Got a small key. I know what to do with that. There was that room we saw before that was locked. Oh, I'm back here. Hooray. I can smash this now if I really wanted to. Which just leads me back there. Alright, well. I have nothing to do in this room. I don't remember exactly how to get back to that room that was locked, so... I'm just gonna have to backtrack everything I did in this episode, so... I gotta quickly get back to the main room. That guy is still, uh, working heavily on the soup. Which I don't think there's any more food to add to the soup, so it's as good as it's gonna get. I'm sorry about the detour, by the way. I just don't know how to get back to that room I was in where there's locked stuff. So, there's that. Oh boy, how many times have we been in this room? You're back! Man. Next time I... Oh, I actually want to keep that on. Next time I kill you, do me a favor and stay dead. Sorry, Minna, I didn't mean to push that. I just want my good old claw shot back on. Throw! This is the room, okay. Hey guys, I get to destroy you all again. Isn't that wonderful? All right, where's that locked door? There's that locked door. Let's go in here, where is here? I mean, we're above where Yetta is currently uh, sitting, so there's that. Oh! Oh dear. Uh, okay. Um. Hiya! Hiya! Alright. I hate how they break apart into these little ones. Oh, I know what I'm doing here. Ah, god damn it! I hate these guys so much! All right. There. And I know I pushed those blocks. I know exactly what to do with those blocks. We know exactly what's on the other side of those. What? Did you just get out of here? Oh, God damn it. Why don't I just use the ball and chain? Oh! I can push these with the ball and chain? I didn't know that. I thought I had to physically grab him and... Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I need a cannonball for that cannon that I have uh, set up over there. That... Oh yeah, there's no cannonball here. Okay, I understand what I'm doing now. I have to set this cannon in position. I'm going to use it to destroy that guy over there. Because if you guys remember, there was uh, that one ladder that I couldn't climb because a freeze guy was guarding it. 
He was guarding that one. But we're almost done the dungeon. That's uh, pretty neat. Alright, so we can go down here. Yeah, that's why that cannon's over there. It makes sense now. I have to shoot it uh, through the gap that I just uh, made. And then I take it over to that other room. And I'm assuming I would get it over here. Alright, we're understanding things. Kinda. I mean, I, I guess we are understanding what's going on. Oh! Take this, and that's the, ladder, uh, that's the ladder that we have to climb later, by the way. Two in there. I, I really do enjoy this uh, mechanic, by the way, where you put something somewhere in a room, and then you pull a lever, and you can take that item into the next room. It's a very, very nice uh, little mechanic. Like, this game has probably some of uh, the most uh, creative dungeons in the entire Zelda series. Maybe saying that's a bit too far, but that is uh, strongly what I believe in. Anyways, let's insert this uh, right on into the cannon. Get in there, you! And we will also put in a bomb. Insert! Fire! I don't know how those cannons work that way, but it it does. <laughs> we get to take it over here. Get you in, I will meet you on the other side. Pull down. There you are. Nice. Insert, insert, and Mr. Freezy, time to meet your demise as you are going to be destroyed. Yeah. And we are almost to the room with the key. Jump across. I was actually worried I wasn't going to be able to make that jump, but I did it. Yay. And now we can climb that ladder. Uh, let's put my ball and chain back on. Because I am very certain I am going to need it. Oh! D oh! Of course! Alright, let's go in here and get the key. I mean, there's nowhere else in the dungeon we really can go, so... It's gotta be the key, right? And, well, this room looks, uh... Hmm... I mean, it's gotta be the key, because uh, besides down here in a boss room, we've been everywhere. Alrighty then. Now to get that though, uh, we're gonna have to kill all these uh, frozen dudes, but... If you take your time, you can actually destroy them all without them ever coming down and forming those uh, little soldier guys with the spears. I don't know why the yeti people have a, like, a church room in their own house, but you know what? Maybe they're, maybe they're spiritual people. That, can, that guy made the spiritual joke. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess I got too close to those guys. So they come to life. Alright, you know what? It, it's much faster to take care of them this way, anyways. I don't have the patience to be slow. Okay, I wanted to take them down one by one, but I guess this works too. Ow. Ow! How dare you hit me when I have my back turned, you cowards! Ow! Whoa! That, that was close. Ow! Uh, I'm gonna have to use some of that soup I got. Thank you! The key is as good as mine. 
I mean, it's gotta be the key. I mean, we're questioning if it really is the key, though, because it looks like a normal chest, like the all the other chests were. Hey, the bedroom key. About damn time we got it. Phew, we finally found the key. That sure took a while, but that mirror shard is as good as ours. Yeah, about damn time. Oh, hi! Oh, you safe. Uh, I drink husband's soup. Feel much better. Uh, so I come find you. You found key. Uh, good. Good. Bedroom right above us. I take you there. Okay, you know what? I, I, I'll go first. I mean, uh, thank you for showing me the way. I, I Also, I find it adorable that you walk like a penguin. But... You know what? You move slower than King Zora, so don't throw yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly uh, just go in, okay? Plus, I have the key. Why do you lock up the door to your own bedroom, by the way? I mean, for safety, I guess, but you live in a frozen, a frozen mansion in the middle of nowhere. Who would come down here? Like, would anyone really come to this uh, mount, like snowy mountains, ski all the way down, just in an attempt to rob this place? Please, this way. Uh, yes, yeah, show me mirror. I will take the mirror and make the nightmares go away. Here, mirror. You look at it. Uh, uh, so pretty. Pretty. Uh, so pretty. Uh oh. First time I saw this, by the way, this freaked me out. Pretty. Pretty mirror. Lovely. Oh boy, get ready for it. Oh! That jump scare, though. Not take mirror! Oh boy. She's turned into a demon. To think that the mirror has the power to transform people into demons. And that's not even the whole mirror of Twilight, that's just a piece of the mirror. Twilight Ice Mass Guizetta. Oh boy. I mean, it's a giant block of ice, I think it's kind of a self explanatory what you do with it. But yeah, first time I played this game. Oh boy, that jump scare, it freaks me out. Ow! You know what? I'm gonna have some of that superb soup. There we go! Whoa, where the hell did those guys come from? Oh yeah, it summons them, right. I actually like this boss, it's a very creative boss. And I really do enjoy the second phase of the boss. And I think this is the only boss that you don't use your sword and do like the whole... Oh wow, I thought if I was swinging the ball and chain... Uh, uh, you just get hurt when you get too close to it. But no! She too smart for me. But yeah, this is the only boss where you don't use your sword and like have a phase of the boss where you're all like... Which makes me a little bit sad. But I do enjoy this boss and I do enjoy this face. It's a pretty cool idea. Like, uh, the ice icicles hang above you. They're gonna drop down one by one. At least you gotta avoid them. And once they all fall, uh, try and destroy at least one. Okay, well. Otherwise, something bad is uh, going to happen. You're gonna get trapped. Like so. I'll, I'll take that heart though. Or try to take that heart. Because you need an opening. So once those all drop down. Destroy one. Because they will rise again. And they will form a circle around you. Where you will be trapped and squashed by Buzetta. And this is all you gotta do. You gotta... Wait for her to come down and smack her into a wall. 
And that's the boss, by the way. No need for a sword in this boss. The only boss that doesn't require a sword, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the only boss that doesn't require using a sword. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about it and everything we haven't done yet. And yeah, I think this is the only one. Alright, got one destroyed. We got an opening. Um... Okay, I was worried that was going to work because the opening was kind of right up against the wall. I'm pretty sure you've become best, friend that, best friends with that wall. That's the second time you did it. And I think one more time we'll do it because, you know, Nintendo and their rules of threes, you know, it's not just their Mario games. Oh, what the hell? I thought I had the opening measured up there. Alright, well, that's fine. I won't worry too much about it. Oh, boy. Alright. Form your circle around me. What? Boom! I, I'm sorry, Yellow, but I think I killed your wife. Or at least the demon possessing her. The mirror is as good as mine. Let me take this and remove the nightmares from your house, okay? The monster... I know it's a pretty mirror, but with, with this mirror gone... The monsters will also go away. And you will no longer be possessed by a demon and your sickness will also go away. Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two? Oh right, the one that was uh, left behind when we found the mirror, right. Two more left, Link. We're halfway there. Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. Uh, you know what? I, I do too, but we really had no choice. To think, the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world. All worlds can be cruel. She's not wrong there, you know. Let's hurry up and collect the rest of those pieces, Link. We have to, before more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Yeah. Well, let's go search for the other two that remain. Where's my piece of heart? Oh. No! no! Ow! He's gotta watch where he's going. That's like the third time he's tackled me. Uh, uh, what? What wrong with me? Nothing now. The demon's gone. Very strange, you just screaming, uh. Yeto, mirror you gave? Actually, mirror I took. Forget mirror Yetta. No, look into eyes of Yetto. Yes, look at those big, creepy, freakish eyes. Look in reflection of Yetto's eyes. They're true beauty. Who need mirror? My love, uh... Ah, that's so adorable. Yeah, at the same time, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, uh... This is an interspecies, uh, relationship between a human and a big giant snow monster. And their love has given me another heart, which I shall take. Yay! Let's give them some privacy and get the hell out of here. I'll get you out of here. You're sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I got all the pieces of heart in here. And, uh... Besides the compass, we did everything. I don't even know where the compass is. We've been in every room. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Do you want to save? Yes, I do want to save. And you guys know what? I'm also going to end this episode here. So thank you for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.
Bye, everybody.